Hello. I hope I'm in the right group. <laughs> My name is Casey. Um, I am going to be showing you guys a um, just a wavy hair tutorial. So uh, this is just how I do my curls. So um, I have fine, straight, no body texture hair. So, um, but I have a lot of hair. So. You know, if you guys have that kind of hair, then, hey Jade. So I guess I'll just get started cause I only have a certain amount of time. I am going to be using um, a one inch curling iron. I like to use a curling iron because it gets hotter and, with, and my curls last longer. Um, I'm also going to be using a deep waver, switching them out. And then I'm going to um, give my hair some volume with my volume. And if you don't know what a volume is, I'll show you. So I just sectioned my hair and I kind of did the bottom part. And uh, actually, I could take more down, but just to kind of save time. Hey, Miss Susie. So, here we go. So I just curled these with my curling iron. Um, and I'll show you how I do that in a minute. So you just want to section your hair and Grab some pieces, and this one I'm gonna do with the curling iron. Well, actually, I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna do my balloon first. So this is a balloon. This is gonna give me some volume. Okay, see these little bitty teeth? They give you volume. So I'm just going to put it right at my root. Oh no! Can y'all see that? Clamp it down. Slide it down, and then clamp it and then slide it down again and then clamp it. And it gives me that bulk for my volume. Right at the root, kind of hold your hair up. Right, at, and then slide it down, clamp it. Slide it down and then clamp it. And it gives me volume. And you don't see this like, underneath all your hair either. So I'm gonna just do that on this side too so I don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, y'all know how y'all can see. Clamp it down at the root, slide it, clamp it, slide it, and then clamp it. Now if you have shorter hair, you don't have to do that. I just do it because I have the longer hair and um, for the type of volume that I want, I have to do it like that. All right, now I'm gonna take my one inch curling iron. I'm gonna hold this open and I'm gonna put it right at the root. I'm going away from my face and I'm just gonna wrap it like I would a wand, but I'm using a curling iron. I know I could use a wand and I do have wands, but uh, I prefer it doing, I prefer it this way. So, and there's that. Then I'm gonna do this section with my deep waver. And I'm gonna just clamp it down, just kinda like how I did that balloon. <laughs> I know, I'm so not a Facebook person. This is making me nervous. Just like that. So different tools can give you different textures of, of waves and that's what makes it kind of like a messy, wavy kind of look, you know? 
Um, you don't want to have your curls all nice and neat if you're going for a natural wavy look. Because if you think about it, person that has really natural wavy hair, it's not all uniform. <laughs> yeah, pretend it's Instagram. I know. I'm just so much more comfortable over there. Okay. And then I'm going to do the deep wave right here too. So you clamp it. I'll just hold it because it doesn't get as hot as like, I don't know, mine's really old. So if you have a new one and it gets hot, don't hold it down on your hair that, that long. Mine is like really old, <laughs> so. And here's that. So I'm just gonna take down another section. Clamp, I mean clip that up. Get that on my face. And then I'm gonna start with the volume again. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this out, but I'm just going to hold the hair up, clamp it down for like a little bit, slide it down, clamp it, slide it down and clamp it. And look, volume. Something that I don't have in my hair. All right, other side. Make sure you don't get your ends with that because it'll crimp it. Hold it up. And sometimes like I'll do like this just to not have the heat so, so bad on there. Kind of just like that. All right. But you see how much volume that gives you? Like, it's amazing. So now I'm gonna just do the, um, the curling arm. I'm gonna do right here. Grab a little section. Uh, and then go back. Now, once I get like kind of right here to this section, I do go, um, I do some back and I do some forward and that will give you, you know, different texture also. Like I'm going to do this one forward. And you want to hold your curling iron, if y'all can see, down. Like straight up and down and then just I just leave out my ends so that's where I hold the um, the hair and I'll leave a, a good bit out I want to say at least two and a half to three inches out so this one I'll do back And then this one, it doesn't have to be like forward, back, forward, back either. You could do it to forward, to back, you know, whatever, whatever you want. I try not to keep it so 
like uniform like because once you start doing this, you'll know what, what pieces curl better and what doesn't. If that makes any sense. If you guys have any questions about makeup or whatever just ask your artist who brought you and who invited you to this group and they can answer all of y'all's questions I'm trying to get it to where y'all can see back ones I just wrap like this because it's just easier I don't know if y'all can see I'm trying to I have a small little bathroom so sorry guys and the lighting in here is not that great but Sure, you get everything. All right, now let's just start over here. Now, this side, I'm gonna just do a deep wave. Even though I didn't do it on this side, I'm gonna still do a deep wave on this side. Um, this side is my harder side to, uh, it doesn't stay as good as the other side, so. Get that deep wave in there. Just like that. And now I'm going to curl this with the curling iron. And I'm going to actually go forward with this one. And I'm going to leave that for later because that's my front end. So I'm gonna take another section. See, I have fine and thin hair, but I do have a lot of it. So I do probably about like five or six sections. If you don't have as much hair, or if your hair has body, of course you don't have to do it as you could take bigger sections and if your hair holds a curl you could totally not take as many sections Sorry, y'all. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> if y'all have any questions, just ask. I can, I can see them. I could, uh, I could try to answer them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm gonna actually do that deep waver right here. Oh my gosh, sorry, I had a phone call, Lord. 
um, and even with this, I still hold my hair up just to get, you know, still that volume. It's all about the volume. It's all about it. So now I'm gonna just do a curl right here. And pretty much all the ones in the back, like I just do the same way. I um I just do it to the back. For the balloon. Yeah, it's amazing, huh? Yeah. It's really it's a good uh tool. Because before that, I was um, teasing my hair, you know, to get the volume. And, man, that really damages my hair. But I wanted the volume, you know. <laughs> can't see. Okay. So I'm going to do this one with the curl arm, too. Same way. Just wrapping it. And for me, like, some of you might be com more comfortable with a uh, wand. But, and that's totally fine. Um, but I'm just more, this is just more comfortable for me than a wand. So on this side, since I did that deep wave right there, I'm going to actually put, I'm going to actually do, like, the curls. I'm going to do one forward. Yeah, me too. I uh, I put my hands in my hair a lot too. I'm gonna actually do this one forward too. So I'm gonna grab this this little front section. Now these pieces, I don't like them really, really curly. Um, so I'm gonna actually do all of that forward. So I'll just leave it on for like a little bit and then like let it go. See, I don't like my front like super curly because as I don't wash my hair uh, that that often. So I'll I'll go I can go at least like seven days without washing my hair with dry shampoo and stuff. So as, since my hair is naturally straight, I mean, this is straight. This is just blow, I just blow dried this this morning. No flat iron to it or nothing. So my hair straightens as the days go. And I actually like it until it gets, you know, to where it's not manageable. But, um, I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah, that's why, I mean, I don't like this too, too curly because my hair straightens as the days goes on. I mean, as, yeah. Now these are pretty much, like once I get mainly like to the top, I'll pretty much do the curling iron. 
and wrapping. And I just go back and forth with alternating kind of. But this one I'm gonna go forward. Can y'all see? I hope so. I have to look in the mirror. This one I'm gonna do forward. It's the um it's the petite one. It's the uh the pink petite one. This is it. It's like I feel like I'm too too close to that camera. Hey, how y'all doing? Okay, so this one I'm gonna go back with it because it's in the back. And again, just leave out your ends. I'll leave at least like two and a half to like three inches out. And that's what gives me that, I mean, if your ends aren't as straight as mine, you could totally take your flat iron and, and flatten that out when you're done. But I just don't because mine are already straight. So I really don't want to put a, I want to put less heat as possible. <laughs> So then, yeah, it is. This is the only way like my hair will hold a curl is if I wrap it with this curling iron. If I just curl it like a normal curler, like a, even using this curling iron, my hair just does not stay. But I don't know, it's something with just wrapping my hair with this curling iron, it, it just lasts. And I mean, I could wear this for at least seven days. But I do have to like touch it up the next day and maybe a little on the, um, the third day. But after that, pretty much dry shampoo saves my life. <laughs> You use a wand. The wand, I just, I don't know. I don't have a small enough wand, maybe. I have probably a one and a half or a two inch wand. So, actually do this forward. And even if it doesn't quite curl, just pick it back up and curl it again. There we go. So these little pieces I'm gonna just get. Just like that. got it all all right so the top again the curling iron and alternating like back and forth this one I'll curl back goes from big to little forget what they are called Oh, I, I never had one of those. Okay, this is it works better, you find? Oh, y'all can't see. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to read it so my eyes are not as good as they used to be. I 
And then this one, I'm going to go forward since my, now all like right here, I'll go back and I'll show you guys that. Kind of keeps it looser up top. Oh, okay. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to get this side now. Which side on a section again since I have so much and go back. I'm gonna go back with this one. This is back, and then this one, I'm gonna just take, uh, yeah, all of that and go forward with it. Okay, now all of that is pretty much curled. Let's see. Okay, so then I'm gonna come back on this side and I'm gonna grab all this. Grab all of that. Thank you. I actually need to color it. I'm in need of a, a highlight, but I gotta get myself up to do it. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna bring this forward and wrap it right in front of my face if you could see that okay and that's how I do that and it kind of gives you that like I don't know what you call it those little butterfly bangs or whatever <laughs> so this I'm gonna actually take this because I have some short pieces right here <laughs> yeah and I'm gonna actually go forward with this. Since it wants to go forward, I'm not gonna fight it. And then I'm gonna take all of this, kind of like, you know, brush it up, trying to get all these little pieces and bring it forward. And then I'm gonna take my curling iron, come on the, not the part side, but the opposite side and wrap it just kind of at the mid shaft to a little bit at the end and then let it go and there you go and that's how i do that and you can kind of let that cool but like i said i don't i don't really like that too too curly because then it's like too much you know Okay, so at this point, I have um, in uh, my description, um, ooh, Lord, this is the dry shampoo I use. I get it at Walmart. I have used so many dry shampoos, but some are really too strong for my hair. They leave it, I don't know, it just doesn't work with my hair. This one works with my hair. So... This is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. Love it. So then I'll just shake that up. And I don't brush my hair when it's curled. I know like that's kind of like crazy, but even like the next day, I don't brush my curls out ever. Um, I'll just like pick at them with my fingers, especially if you have like nails, that's the best. So then I'll just spray this just like so kind of like 
you know, going up and, and then picking up your hair. And just like letting pieces fall. And then I'll do the same with this side. But you see how like the different tools give you like different curls, but it, it still all kind of flows together. So that's what I do because I don't have any body to my hair whatsoever. So that is that. And then I'll take, then I'll kind of just like separate them a little, kind of just play with it, but I'm not gonna brush them. And then for my bangs, I use the Veda Air Control Hairspray. It's the best. Um, so I'll just pick up my bang area and spray underneath and kind of mold that to, you know, how I like it. Because I can't stand that in my face. Thank you. Thank you, Kimberly. And then this side, I'll do the same. And just kind of mold that and this is like a, a super light hold so um like the next day you know it's okay if it if the heat touches it because it's just it's not a strong cold hairspray so then what really gives me the pieciness is this Aveda Fermata hairspray. It's a spritz hairspray. It's not an aerosol like the one I just used. So it really, really like pieces out my hair to where it doesn't all like, you know, clump together. You know how curls could do that. Well, this one helps. So what I do is, again, tilt my head to the side and kind of spray kind of kind of spray like up, okay? So, and then after that, I'll kind of like look in the mirror and kind of dry that spritz spray because it's wet, it's not like an aerosol, you know? And then I'll do the other side. And then just do the same. And just like that. And then I'll kind of just fluff it. And there you go easy peasy so if you guys have any questions um, about the makeup just ask your artist who brought you here and who invited you they could help you with that um, if you have any questions about any of the tools I used or the products um, just let me know and I'm happy to answer and um, and I hope everybody has a great day and hopefully this virus will be over soon and we can go back to the stores because I'm missing Target. <laughs> but um, do any of y'all have any questions before I get off? I'll just wait a minute and see. Okay, well, if you guys have any questions, like I said, just leave a comment in the uh, comments and I'll get to them and answer them. So I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Sorry if I was <laughs> kind of out of the camera, but um, y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.